Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we are in Unit 3 of Medical Terminology. This week we'll be studying directional terms, anatomical planes, regions, and quadrants. An anatomical or anatomic position is when the body is viewed as standing erect, arms at the side, palms of your hands facing forward, and feet placed side by side. Another, that's an anatomic position, but an anatomic plane is an imaginary flat field that's used as point of reference to identify the position of the body parts. Abdominal pelvic regions, the abdominum, the abdomen and the pelvis are divided into nine regions, similar to a tic-tac-toe diagram. And each region gives better accuracy for identification in locating medical problems. Abdominal pelvic quadrants are divided into four quadrants with vertical and horizontal lines that intersect at the belly button. Health professionals use these quadrants to describe the location of pain, incisions, markings, and lesions. The cell is the basic unit of life. A group of cells form tissues in the body and a group of tissues in the body form body organs, such as your intestines, such as your um, arms or your legs. And these group of body organs form body systems. For example, the reproductive system, the digestive system, etc. So cells lead to tissues, lead to organs, which lead to systems. And if you break down a system, a system is a group of organs, organs is a group of tissues, and tissues are a group of cells. So you see how that diagram shows the arrows? All right, terms for this unit. We only have two prefixes in this unit, but remember, you still have to remember your prefixes from units one and two. So your prefix for unit three are by, which means two, and uni, which means one. And remember, prefixes come where? At the beginning, do what? Modify the meaning of the word. Suffixes, you only have two in this chapter. Suffixes come where? At the end, do what? Modify the meaning of the word. That is correct. Your suffix for these, this chapter, unit three, there's only two. AD means toward. IOR means pertaining to. Now you're combining forms. Antero means front. Cephalo means head, caudal means tail, disto means away, dorso means back, inferior means below, lateral to the side, medial, middle, posterior, back or behind, proximal, near, supero, above, and ventral is belly. Those are your combining forms. Your anatomic planes, when you have a frontal or a coronal plane, it's as if a vertical field is passing through the body from side to side and it's dividing your body into anterior and posterior portions. So it's like a plane is coming through the middle of your body and splitting the body in front and back halves. A sagittal plane is a vertical field running through the body from front to back, dividing the body into right and left halves. So if I went straight down the center of your forehead with the right and left side, it's as if a plane comes through and splits the body in half with the right and left side. Mid-sagittal divides the body into right and left halves. So halfway of your body, like say at your middle of your stomach, if a plane comes through and cuts the body in half, you have a top of your body, which will have your chest plate and your arms and your head, and then a bottom portion, which would have the buttocks and the legs and the feet. And then your transverse plane is a horizontal field that divides the body into upper and lower portions. Again, it's like the mid-sagittal. Mid-sagittal is midway, transverse splits it in half. Your abbreviations for this chapter are A and T, stands for anterior. AP stands for anterior posterior. CA, carcinoma, chemo, chemotherapy, DX, diagnoses, INF, 
inferior, LAT, lateral, LLQ, left lower quadrant, LUQ, left upper quadrant, MED stands for medial, METS stands for metastasis, PA, posterior anterior, PX, prognoses, RBC, red blood cell, RLQ, right lower quadrant, RUQ, right upper quadrant, SUP, superior, XRT, radiation therapy, WBC, white blood cells. So your exercises for this unit, on a piece of paper, write the definition of each of your prefixes. For example, by equals two. Do that for your prefixes, your suffixes, and your combining file, combining form, because remember, here at Codemaster Coach, we believe that when you write things down, it tends to stay with you because you write it, you're practicing it. Exercise two, now write the definition of your prefix and then go back and write the prefix for each. So where before we said by the prefix equals two, well now two equals by. And do the same for your suffixes and your combining form building your medical terms. Medical terms for unit three, caudad means toward the tail, cephalad means toward the head, lateral pertaining to a side, medial pertaining to the middle, unilateral pertaining to one side, bilateral pertaining to two sides, medial lateral pertaining to the middle and to the side, distal pertaining to away, proximal, pertaining to near, inferior, pertaining to below, superior, pertaining to above, and cephalic, pertaining to head. So your exercise three for this unit is to analyze. And remember I said analyze means break up your word parts for your built medical terms. So for example, in number one above, kudad. C-A-U-D is your word root, which means tail. A-D is your suffix, which means toward. So again, do that for numbers two through 12 above on your built medical terms. Break it up into its word parts, analyze it, and break it up into its word parts, identify the word parts, and give the definition of each. For exercise four, can you create 10 more medical terms from the prefixes, suffixes, and combining forms given in this unit? So again, build 10 more words. And your assignment for this week is to go back and make sure you know your terms from units one and two, because as you can see in unit three, we're giving more terms, but we're also gonna apply, as we get in further chapters, some of those same prefixes, suffixes that we've learned from previous chapters to build terms in future chapters. Don't forget to make your flashcards or your index cards for the new terms that you learn here in Unit 3. Complete your exercises throughout Unit 3. And as promised, I'm attaching a test for Units 1 through 3. This is a bonus assignment that I mentioned in Unit 1. You hold this till the end of the class, but look below here. I have your bonus assignment. And it's, for, it's a test on units one through three. Number one says, what are the two ways to learn medical terminology? We've discussed that. Name and define your four word parts. I've drilled these in your head. Define your combining form. What is a combining form? What does, is a combining form made of? Number four, complete the following diagram. And I've given you a diagram. Cells equal what, equal what, equal what? Fill in those words. Number five, describe your anatomic positions. Number six, define the following word roots. And I've given you a group of them. Some may come from unit one, two, or three. Seven, define the following suffixes. Again, these come from units one, two, and three. Eight, Define the following prefixes. Nine, 
break the following medical terms into their proper word parts. So subhepatic, we've broken them up. Where I used to tell you analyze, analyze these terms. 10, define the medical terms for the following definitions. So I've given you definitions. Tell me what the medical term is. And your bonus question for this bonus assignment is ellipsis. Now I have not given you this term. I'm asking you to define that. Google, pull out a medical dictionary, pull out whatever resource you can, and give me a definition for ellipsis. All right, guys, as you're studying, go back, review units one and two, fill in this, this bonus assignment. Don't forget unit three. Thanks. See you in the next one.